guys <laughs> welcome to a new video and in this video we are going to talk about the most important thing of traveling the money yeah <laughs> and the more precisely how to save money during your travel this is my best advice the first one is as you see yeah, I have a little uh, is is a find the right flight or the right buses or the right train but if you're going outside the Europe or outside the US maybe to Asia uh, or South America you have to consider taking a flight and how to find the best flight uh, the first thing is to not have a specific date that you need to fly then you can uh, go on sky scanner and uh, type in your destination and see if you can find a good flight to for example from Gothenburg where I'm live to Bangkok I just type in there and see if, if, if it's any good connections and if I don't find any good connection with a good price I maybe type in just to Europe and Bangkok and then I will see the which city in Europe have the best prices that's how I normally do the same is uh, I also use the same is when I'm going to South America I know that the best is going from um, Spain actually do uh, I normally tap in Spain and uh, then I see which which part of South America has the cheapest flight and what days have the cheapest flight and then I normally just buy the cheapest flight <laughs> uh, for example when I, when I went from uh, from uh, Colombia back to Sweden a year ago I I just was looking at the cheapest flight from Sweden to to uh, Scandinavia so I, f I found a, a very good flight from the north part of Colombia to Norway Oslo for under uh, for under three hundred dollars so it was quite affordable uh, but there was a stopover in, in, in the US uh, but that was also I used this was on sky scanner and uh, I found a very good price and I did not have the fixed dates I just wanted to go I know that I wanted to go home uh, from Colombia so I just choose this flight and a lot of people ask me do you book a lot in, a lot in advance the flights uh, normally not uh, maybe one or two weeks in advance even when I went to Sri Lanka uh, the, yeah this year <laughs> 2024 I used book like two or three weeks before and then uh, then I was in Sri Lanka three weeks after <laughs> so yeah that is my first advice to save money go on Skyscanner and don't have a fixed date or even don't have a fixed destination use a fixed that you want to go to Asia for example if you want to go to Vietnam uh, consider to go maybe to Bangkok first and then take a connecting flight to to Vietnam or Cambodia or uh, Laos uh, this is my yeah this is my first advice the second one is choose a country that is affordable uh, what do I mean by that yeah super country that you feel that you are a, a king your money is worth more than your home country for example at, at the moment the Swedish kroners is <laughs> so I so if I go to US for example it's super not affordable uh, <laughs> and you maybe can get a similar experience if you go to some other countries that have cheaper flight to it cheaper food blah 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 so maybe consider going to Mexico uh, or even go to uh, Nicaragua 
uh, still cheaper than the US. <laughs> or if you go to Asia, of course, Southeast Asia or uh, Nepal or India is uh, way cheaper. But it's not the same experience as, as US. I don't say that US and Mexico have the same experience, but uh, yeah, for me at least, that this is not from US or Mexico. I feel like, yeah, a little bit the same. <laughs> Not the same, same thing but different of course. The uh, US is so big and Mexico is also so big. Uh, but that is my advice. Choose a country that you feel like a king in. Money wise. And uh, the, and also what culture you're you looking for. Uh, the world is big. Uh, I'm, I'm considering going to Morocco on my next trip. Uh, I feel that can be a very affordable place for me. Maybe I don't like the culture, I don't know, I, I have not been there yet, but this is, uh, yeah, this is one. And the next one is very important. I did the mistake in when I went to uh, Brazil last year. I used to took my Swedish bank, bank card. And that was a big mistake. I paid so, so much taking out money from the ATM. Uh, I don't know how. How many <laughs> US dollars or euros or even Swedish kroners, but I was a lot. But I learned from my lessons, so now I have something called Revolt, Revolut, Re Re Revolut, it's called Revolut. And then you go to the ATM and it's, it's free. You take out money for free. Sometimes you have to find the right ATM in the country to, to, to take out money. Uh, so Re Revolut and also WISE. WISE is also very good. Uh, I have not used wise, but uh, a, a lot of my um, backpacker friends, you can call them, uh, use wise, and was yeah, it was just the same concept as uh, Revolut. Uh, the, these two bank cards, I would re really recommend you to use. Some also, uh, I know that a lot of people uh, use a credit card. Uh, I have not used it, so I cannot advise you to do that, but. Uh, I know that a lot of people use credit card, but then you have to pay your bill in, in the end of the month. Uh, I prefer to uh, not do, to, to do that. <laughs> uh, and my next advice is to traveling off season. Yeah, why? Because then you really got the value for your money. Uh, but the bad things here can be if, for example, if you go to Southeast Asia in the out of season, it's raining, 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 raining. Maybe you go there for two weeks in Thailand, it's rained for you. For, for all over your two weeks, it's just raining, raining, no sunshine. Uh, that is not that one. And then you feel like, oh, my money is gone. But maybe going, uh, going in the end of the season, when they're starting to getting to the low season or in the middle, yeah, low season is called, yeah. Uh, from, you go from the high season, but it's in the end of the high season, is sometimes also the prices drops a lot. That is my advice. And also maybe go to not that popular areas in, in for example, if you go to Thailand, find out the least popular areas for, of course, Phuket will be more expensive than other places in, in Thailand. I don't know Thailand that I've been there two times, but I cannot say that I'm a Thailand expert. So, but look for like the least popular places and you will find more value for your money. And then is to the other question, how to live in uh, when you're traveling on a budget. This is a budget uh, vlog, actually. How to travel on a budget and how to live. Um, yeah, on this trip that I did last time, I was out for seven months and I stayed maybe 90% 90, 90 I did stay, did stay in hostels because to save money. But are you two person, for example, in Sri Lanka, you can find a good room for less than I think less than five dollars <laughs> or even uh, maybe six or seven dollars maybe uh, a room for six or seven dollars and then you split that with the other person then it's then you don't really need to stay in hostels hostels is I like hostels in uh, 
because you can socialize, you, you can find new friends in those stalls and uh, normally you get sometimes more service in hostel than in a hotel if you're traveling solo. Uh, so I prefer to stay in hostels but now I'm considering maybe staying in hostels but in a private room my next trip. I'm a little bit tired of staying in dorms <laughs> after seven months in dorms. You get a little bit tired of that as well but if you're going like two weeks vacation Maybe hostels, like a mixture. Hostels, your own room. Hostels, your own room. I mean, that is the best mixture. Uh, so that, yeah. How how to live? Like, will you say in hotel, blah, hotel, hostel, guest house, you name it. Uh, Airbnb can also be a very good option. I I I did Airbnb in uh, Mexico, and I was to say back then there was this was six 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 years ago almost. And it was almost the same price as, as a hostel, and then you get your private room. It was very, it was very nice. Uh, but I know that Airbnb now is the prices for Airbnb is higher now than it was six years ago. So hostels on this trip, uh, I was in Asia, uh, was still most uh, most affordable to so say in hostels. And uh, yeah, but if you're two persons, then. The hostel price for one bed is the same as a, a small guest house or even a small hotel. Like in, in I think in India, if if you're two person in India, it doesn't does make any sense. Hostels. If you don't really, if you want, if you want to meet other people, yeah, of course. Uh, but if you just want to have your own space, no, it's not making any sense. But if it's the same money, and you maybe don't want to have one room. And want to socialize with other people, then uh, a hostel is a very good option as well in India. But I, uh, yeah, I did, I did in India stay, stayed in me some hostels, some more guest house also. Uh, yeah, but mostly hostels in India as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the other one is the almost the most important one is. Uh, is also how to eat, where to eat, uh, and uh, my the, my advice is to try to find a local market or a local restaurant, and uh, try to skip all the westernized food like hamburger, pizza, pastas, and try to eat as as a local. Then then your money will last longer. I'm sometimes. I'm very bad at that because sometimes I really feel oh, a pizza in will, will be very good for me now. And then you have to pay o almost a, a double or even more. Like <laughs> so, so my best advice is to stay local, eat local, and stay local. <laughs> uh, let's see, yeah, and also the last one and the most important one. I told you that. Uh, the last, <laughs> yeah, now I'm a little bit tired, but the last one is the most important thing if you want really want to save money. Now you have chosen a destination to go to, like a country or a region, but travel slow, slow. So, for example, if you go to Thailand, I don't know why I'm just talking about Thailand now, but great. Okay, okay, if you go to uh, Cambodia, I know it was a uh, yeah. We say Thai Thailand is maybe better, uh, better in this advice. So travel slow and see less places. Decide maybe two, three places that are not that far away from each other. Because transportation is one of the most expensive things as well, like taking buses, boats, everything takes time. And also, if you have three weeks in Thailand and you maybe choose three places, then you get a better deal of your hotels. So that's why traveling slow, see less places, but <laughs> If you have seen my 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 um, my trip from 
from this year and in Asia I was not traveling slow I I, I was <laughs> maybe I was traveling slow in uh, Nepal I, I traveled quite slow but otherwise I was like <laughs> and my bunny was like was like this like money 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 where is my money they are gone <laughs> wait so traveling slow or consider so saying in one place so for example if you if if you want to go to Thailand fly into Bangkok and then choose one one place to stay in for three weeks don't see like I want to see the north part I want to see the south I want to see Koh Phangan, Phuket uh, so choose uh, choose to travel slow then you will save a lot of money uh, that is that is the greatest advice to save money is to traveling slow and uh, yeah but this was all for now <laughs> and uh, have a great day and we see you in the next one